Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Sa video natin ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin is we will solve equations na in the form of rational algebraic equations na kung saan, we can transform them into quadratic equations. By the way, what is rational equations? Rational equations are equations containing one or more terms in fractional form para mas madali niyo matandaan yung definition natin. So, I have here three examples of rational equations at kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung nakabase sa definition na meron tayo. Sabi doon, containing one or more terms in fractional form. In our first example, meron tayo ditong equation that is 2 over x minus 2 is equal to x plus 1 over 3. It's an example of rational equation. And then for the next example, we have 5y over 6 plus 1 over 3y is equal to 1. It's also an example of rational equation. Third example natin, we have x over x minus 1 plus 2x minus 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 3 over x squared minus x minus 2. So, ang pinaka-target natin ngayon is you can master the, the way on how to solve rational equations na kung saan ay karamihan ng mga sudyante sa mathematics ay nagiging difficult ito. So, let's start with example number 1. We have your example number 1. Sabi dito, solve the equation 3 over x plus 3 is equal to 4x plus 1 is equal to 8x minus 1. In this case, kailangan maging ano, observant kayo kasi kung ano yung tura ng equation natin. Copy mo natin equation. We have 3 over x plus 3 is equal to 4x plus 1 over 8x minus 1. Kung kapansin nyo, meron lang tayong dalawang terms na naka-fractional form sa given equation natin. So, ang ginagawa ko rito, kapag ganito siya, separated sila ng equal sign. Magkabilaan sila, di ba? Uh, you will just do or use cross multiplication. Tandaan nyo, ha? Magkahiwali kasi sila ito, rito, nasa magkabilang part sila ng equation natin. So, we can do cross multiplication. So, cross multiply lang natin. So, we have x plus 3 times 4x plus 1. And then equal to 3 times 8x minus 1. Yung left side natin, we can use FOIL method. That is 4x squared. Ito muna. And then plus x. This is 3 times 4x plus 12x. And then 3 times 1, it will give you plus 3. And then on the other side, by using distributive property, you can have the product of 24x and then 3 times negative 1, that will give you negative 3. And then, after natin, ito pala, um, medyo nakalimutan ko lang sabihin, ang pinaka problem, problem lang dito, or kailangan nyo magawa, is you need to eliminate the denominators. So, kung mapansin nyo, after natin mag-cross multiply, natanggal yung denominator natin. So, after nun, you can do solving quadratic equations. Combining like terms muna tayo, we have here 4x squared. And then, this two terms, ang sum nyo naman ay plus 13x plus 3. It's equal to 24x minus 3. And then, transpose lahat natin sa kabila ng terms para magiging, maging standard form sila, you will have 4x squared plus 13x. Transpose natin dito yung isa. We will have negative 24x kasi from positive maging negative. And then this one, transpose natin dito, it will give you plus 3. And then from negative 3, ito yung magiging plus 3 din. Equal to 0. So as you can see, Meron na tayong bagong quadratic equation. 4x squared minus 11x, tama? Plus 6 is equal to 0. So, negative, uh, positive 13x minus 24x is negative 11x. So, 
hindi po perfect square trinomial na meron tayo. So, maglagay tayo ng panibago nating solution. I will use AC method para i-factor out yung ating trinomial. So, we have 4 times 6 that will give you 24. At ang hanap natin, dapat meron tayong factors ng 24 na kapag in natin, their sum is equal to negative 11. So, ang naisip po factors dito is negative 8 and negative 3. Negative 8 times negative 3 is negative, positive 24. Tama. Okay tayo rito. Negative 8 times negative, ah, negative 8 plus negative 3, that will give you negative 11. So, okay tayo. So, ngayon, i-factor out natin gamit to We have 4x squared minus 8x. I-break down natin itong 11x, negative 11x natin. Minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, meron tayo dito ngayong 4x squared. I-group natin minus 8x plus negative 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, common monomial factor nito is 4x. So, x minus 2. Tama? And then, for the second group, common monomial factor nila is negative 3. So, we have x minus 2. So, paano gagawin nyo dyan? Ang gagawin nyo, since parehas yung x minus 2 natin, factor out natin, we have x minus 2. Then, kunin natin to bilang factor. You have 4x minus 3. So, lipatan natin dito. The factors are x minus 2 and then 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. Importante rin na marunong kayo mag-factoring dito kasi, di ba nga, solving quadratic equations na yung kalalabasan nito. And then, by using zero product property, equate natin yung both factors, factor ng equation natin by 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0 you have 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, solve for x natin. You have here x is equal to 2. This is the first value of x. And then, on the other side, we have 4x is equal to 3 divided by 4. Cancel natin. You have x is equal to 3 over 4. These are the values of x. Pero, advice ko lang, uh, since we're doing this kind of topic, ay at the end of your solution, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng checking. You need to do checking. Paano ginagawa yun? I-substitute mo lang yung value na nakuha mo sa original equation natin. So, let's do the checking. Ang equation natin is 3 over x plus 3. And then, you have is equal to 4x plus 1, then over 8x minus 1. Yung first value ng x natin, ang gagamitin natin ay yung x is equal to 2. So, substitute natin. You have your 3 over 2 plus 3. Then, equal to 4 times 2 plus 1 over 8 times 2 minus 1. Ang una mo natin ginamit ay yung unang value ng x which is 2. Hindi natin pwede pagsabayin yun ha. Simplify natin to. We can get 3 over 5. And on the other side, you will have 4 times 2 plus 1 is 9. And this is 8 times 2, 16 minus 1, that is 15. And then simplifying this part, that will give you 3 over 5 is equal to 3 over 5. Since they are equal, meaning, ang ibig, or ang ibig sabihin nun, the value of x, which is 2, is the solution, or a solution of the given rational algebraic equation. So we are done with the first value. Sundan naman natin yung ano, what if x is equal to... 3 over 4. Substitute natin. You have your 3 ito tayo eh. Over 3 over 4 plus 3. 
is equal to 4 times 3 over 4 plus 1 over 8 times 3 over 4 minus 1. So dito, we can cancel out 4. Dito naman, cancel natin ito, ito magiging 2. So dito muna tayo sa left side. We have 3 over this is 3 over 4 plus 9 over 3 magiging 3 over a uh, 12 over sorry this is 12 over 4 yan is equal to ito naman magiging 3 plus 1, 4 na lang to over 5. Tama? Kasi 2 times 2, 6 minus 1 is 5. Ito naman, 3 over, what's this? 15 over 4 is equal to 4 over 5. Kailangan itong left side natin ay maging 4 over 5 then. And then on the other side, 3 times 4 over 15 equal to 4 over 5 so makakancel natin to ito magiging 5 so we have 4 over 5 is equal to 4 over 5 as you can see yung value natin ay equal na ibig sabihin the, ro the roots or the solution of the rational equation is R2 and 3 over 4 that's it importante lang na ano, na machak natin solution natin and another thing if nag Checking kayo at naging zero yung denominator, um, ang mangyayari doon, yung nakuha niyo value ng x ay makukonsider natin bilang extraneous root. Let's move on to item number 2. In item number 2, we have 3x plus 2 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x is equal to negative 2 over x squared minus 2x. So dito, hindi na siya kapares ng formation ng number 1 natin in which 2 terms lang siya at magkaiba sila ng, mag nasa magkaibang parts sila ng equation. Ngayon, meron tayong 3 terms. So, ang suggestion ko rito is we need to find the LCD or least common denominator natin kasi yung denominator natin ay different. We have x minus 2, x, and then x squared minus 2x. Tandaan nyo ha? So, ngayon, so, ano nga ba yung common denominator natin? Kung mapansin nyo, kailangan ito pag-isipan nyo mabuti. Yung x squared natin, ito LCD. Yung una natin yung 2, x minus 2, and then the other is x, tama? Pero kung mapansin nyo, pag multiply mo to, you have your x squared, ito naman may naging 2x, na kung saan, siya yung magiging product ng third natin. Ibig sabihin, the least common denominator natin is x times x minus 2. That's it. So, paano? Hindi tayo pwede mag-cross multiplication dito. Kasi tatagalan tayo. Gagawin natin, we will multiply the whole rational equation by the LCD na x times x minus 2. So, copy mo natin. We have 3x minus plus 2 over x minus 2 then plus 1 over x is equal to negative 2. Pero ang gagawin natin sa ating denominator is i-factor out na natin. That is x times x minus 2. So again, we will multiply the whole equation by the LCD. x times x minus 2. So bawat term yan ha? So that will be x times x minus 2 times 3x plus 2 over x minus 2. The second term naman natin, plus x times x minus 2 times 1 over x is equal to negative x times x minus 2 times negative 2 over x times x minus 2. Yung iba dito ang ginagawa nila, 
ni direction nila yung cancellation pero sa video natin papakita natin step by step process so when you multiply this part papansin niyo meron tayong x minus 2 sa ibabaw at meron tayong x minus 2 sa ilalim ibig sabihin niyan we can cancel out this one and this one ang matitira na lang ay itong x so we have x times 3x plus 2 yan para sa first term and for the second term ito naman tayo focus tayo dito Meron tayong x sa ilalim at meron tayong x sa ibabaw. Ibig sabihin, we can eliminate this variable and this variable. The remaining one ay plus x minus 2 na lang kasi 1 na lang yung kasama niya. And then, is equal to, kapansin nyo, parehas yung numerator sa so part na ito eh, parehas to sa so kailalim. Ibig sabihin, we can cancel out those factors. Cancel natin. Magiging minus 2 na lang. So, mas naging simple, di ba? So, as you can see, wala na tayo ngayong denominator. Hindi siya rational. We can simplify the terms using distributive property. We have x squared. Ah, sorry. It is 3x squared. Then x times 2 plus 2x plus x minus 2 is equal to negative 2. So, tinan natin mabuti. Combine like terms muna tayo. We have 3x squared plus 3x minus 2 is equal to negative 2. Pili lang natin. We have 3x squared and then plus 3x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Magiging 0 na to. So the remaining equation will be 3x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. So, wala tayong, ano, wala tayong third term. Pero, we can still solve this equation. Meron tayong common monomial factor, which is 3x. So, 3x times x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, nakuha, nakasunod pa ba kayo? So, equate natin by 0. We have 3x is equal to 0. Yung isa naman ay x plus 1 is equal to 0. Solving the value of x divided by 3, your x is equal to 0. And on the other side, we have x is equal to negative 1. Yan. So, yun yung value natin. Uh, you can do the checking for this equation. Yung ating x is equal to 0 and x is equal to negative 1. So, sige, try na natin. Check na natin. If we have the checking... Let's try first x is equal to 0 using this equation. So, gawin natin, we have 3 times 0 plus 2 over 0 minus 2 plus 1 over 0. So, meron na tayong 0 ngayon. Is equal to negative 2 over 0 times 0 minus 2. Kung mapansin nyo, yung second denominator natin at ito, maging 0 na denominator. Ibig sabihin, 0 is an extraneous root of the given radical equ rational equation. Okay? So, try naman natin. 0 is an extra extraneous Okay. Next natin yung x is equal to negative 1. Okay natin. We have 3 times negative 1 plus 2 over negative 1 minus 2 plus 1 over negative 1. Pinapalitan natin yung value x for the checking. So we have is equal to negative 2 over negative 1 times negative 1 minus 2. Simplify natin. We can have negative 3 plus 2 over negative 3 plus, or this is negative, minus 1 is equal to negative 2 over, this is negative 3 times negative 1, we have 3. Simplify natin to. We have negative 1 over negative 3. Minus 1 is equal to negative 2 over 3. 
So, equal ba sila? Okay, maging equal sila kasi ito yung magiging 1 over 3 minus 1 is equal to negative 2 over 3. So, we have 1 over 3 minus 3 over 3. So, this is negative 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3. So, as you can see, equal sila. Therefore, one of the solutions of the given rational equation is negative 1. Again, kung meron kayong ma-requested video or question about this topic, pwede kayong mag-comment down below and try natin explain sa inyo one by one kung meron naging problema. I hope na natuto kayo sa ating video. Uh, please like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.